Sometimes that's how it is from me and the most side, you know. I ain't got no problem with that. I ain't got no problem with that. Yep. He called me <laughs> out of darkness into his marvelous light. All right. He called me out of his darkness into his marvelous light. So first of all, I want to say shalom, shalom. Um, you know how it goes. We give all honor, glory, and praises to the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh by Shem Kachadash about the water. Thank you, Father. Kwam Yahshua, rise up, wake up, Israel. Scatter throughout the four corners of the earth for a nip. Whether so the Most High scatter them. For amongst them is the remnant and the 144 elect. That's for sure. So, got to put that in there. Because that's what's going on. All right. All right. We're going to get into it again, family. Um, got a lot of stuff we got to clean up. Now. Help, boy. Books and paperwork everywhere, y'all. <laughs> Books and paperwork everywhere. So let's see here. We're going to deal with that in due time. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So lock your film in one set. Mm -hmm. One second film. <laughs> all right oh all right all right we're gonna get that done. let's see what's going on fam bam why right. mm -hmm. all right so yeah shalom shalom again uh just uh, want to continue putting the work in, you know, for the love of the Most High, for the love of the family, the nation of Israel. All right. Uh, no further ado, let's get it going. We're going to go into, you know how I do. I need some witnesses. So I'm going to go to Ezekiel 37 chapter. All right. Go to Ezekiel 37. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start at verse 9. All right. Then he said unto me, Son of man. Well, Salakia. Then he said unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus said the Most High, the Almighty Power, Yahweh, come from the four winds, O breath and breathe upon these slain that they may live and that's the prayer that i'm gonna pray and that's the asking from the most high that i'm gonna ask you know to bring forth the, the uh four winds and breathe upon these slain 
that they may live. That's all I could do. Read words of prophecy, pray, watch as well as pray. And um, just know that the Most High is going to do his word is going to go out and won't come back void. You know, who's going to wake up and come back home? I have no idea. I just know I got to stay in it. And as long as I'm in it, I got work to do. I got a job to do. I got to go by orders. You know, it's the Most High, it's Mashiach, and then it's the man. Now I am man. All right. So I'm going to do my part. I'm going to read prophecy, bring forth forth words of prophecy um, to the house of Israel, whether they hear, whether they forbear. My earnest expectation is that they may live. All right. Is that they may live. So I got a purpose. I got a purpose and I got a job and I got to do it. So without further. All right. Without further. Um, let's go to. Let's go to. Um, Salaki. Let me see something for me. Let me see something for me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop putting me back on that thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Praise the most high. I'm on track, family. I'm on track. I'm on track. All right. Let's go to <clears throat> the book of... Uh, First Peter chapter two and nine. Okay. It's going to get in it. Right. <laughs> First Peter. Chapter two. And verse nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. The book of First Peter, chapter two, verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation, all right. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. Not one royal priest man, not one man. I hear we are a royal priesthood. So that means that we are an office, and we have all of us has a, has a job to do. All the men that are woken or called to come into this. This, this marvelous light that the Most High brought us in, and it is marvelous because the world is full of darkness, full of wickedness, extra wickedness, gross darkness. If there's any other words that we can put in to replace those words, let it be so. But this world is finished. It's finished. So, yeah, it's marvelous. It's marvelous light. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood a holy nation and holy nation, a peculiar people, right? That ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So your order is that ye should, that ye should show forth, right? The praises of him who have called you and it was a Mashiach who did the calling because he sent our big brother down here to put the work in. And the Mashiach said, my sheep hear my voice. You know? So, I don't know, man. The church teach one thing, but Mashiach teach another. Mashiach said, my sheep hear my voice. Okay? My sheep hear my voice. So, let's read it again. But ye are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood and holy nation, 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 not no spiritual nation, national, national. It's, it's the it's the root word of nationality, nation. And this is as it is written right here. This ain't the first time this this was uh, mentioned. You can go back in the book of um, 
Exodus, and you'll see the same thing, right? Right? So, New Testament, no. So-called Old Testament, yes. These brothers was only these brothers were only quoting from the Old Testament when they walked on the earth. Okay. And after all their letters were written, <clears throat> then the so-called assemblies got together and they formatted them. And therefore you had you had or have a New Testament. But when they were walking around, there was no New Testament. Okay. One more time. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And by us doing so, we're stretching forth our hand and extending the hand of the Most High through Hamashiach Yehawah Shai. To try to help and save our people. That's the reason. We're supposed to show forth works. Right. We're, su we're supposed to show forth praise. Show our people that the most high is this. Show our people that we are the children of Israel. As this scripture is quoted back in the book of Exodus. Same people. Here it is. I'm in the back of the book. And the book is almost done. Same message is getting taught same message is going forth okay same message is going forth family the same message is going forth so in the same in the message is his marvelous light that's the name of the message or that's the title of the message and matter of fact the title will just be john 8 and 12 all right John 8 and 12, St. John 8 and 12. That's, we'll just leave it simply like that. Let's go forward, family. All right, let's go forward, family. I'm going in the book of Luke. All right. The one in Luke, 16th chapter. All right. 10th verse. Got it. Okay. The book of Luke, chapter 16, verse 10. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. It's just another order, order of the priesthood. You know, through knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Most High. Just another order. He that is faithful in that which is least, just the least little bit. If he's faithful in that, she all said what? Also in much, it, he, let's, let's read it again. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. That's right. But guess what? And he that is unjust in the least little bitty thing can't be trusted with the least little thing. Guess what? He is unjust also in much. So you can't even trust him with that. Don't even worry about giving him nothing else. If you can't trust him with a little bit, don't worry about a lot. All right. But he that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. Meaning, okay, if I'm the least faithful in what the Most High give me, maybe the Most High will offer me the latter reigns. If you give me the former reigns, and I and I grow, I nourish. Then he rain upon me. He give me the former rain. I mean the latter rains, and I continue to grow. So he's grooming me. He's he's trying me. He's sending me through <clears throat> the course. You know, he's sending me through the course that I may be worthy of the kingdom. I'm not. I, I'm not saying that I am, but I have to put this work in. I have to do what the most high and the master teacher tell me to do all right i have to show forth the praises of him that called us out of the uh, the darkness into his marvelous light that's the job so i got to do that i got to be faithful in the least so 
when more is put upon me, I can be trusted. All right, let's move on. So, Genesis chapter 1, verse 2 through 4. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah. Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 through 4 all right and the earth was without form and void nothing going on void nothing and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the earth I know it was because somebody was cast down to the abyss somebody fell from heaven and this is his dwelling place right job 9 and 24 this is his dwelling place all right let's get it and the earth was without form and void and wickedness and darkness and abomin and all kind of abominable things were upon the face of the deep gross super wicked super wicked all right all right, and the spirit of the almighty power, Yahweh, moved upon the face of the waters. Okay, verse 3 and the almighty power, Yahweh said, Let there be light, and there was light because Proverbs what 11 and 1 said, What darkness can't roll along, you got to have something to balance it out. Proverbs 11 and 1 speaks of a just balance all right and the almighty power said let there be light and there was light verse 4 and the almighty power Yahweh saw the light that it was good of course it was good and the almighty power guess what he did he divided the light from the darkness and guess what family that's where we at right now the light is getting divided from the darkness because right now today it, it has turned right back up super super dark it's bad out here that's why i read on uh, first peter chapter 2 and 9 he called us out of dark darkness into his marvelous light man because it's bad out here it's sad out here it's ridiculous out here it's vexing out here it's finished out here it's a wrap out here come out of her my people and be not partakers of her sin Believe that. Believe that. Because the day of the Most High is at hand. All right? The Most High got a controversy with the land. He got a major problem with the land. Because his name ain't being talked about out here like he, well, it wasn't being talked about out here. He wasn't mentioned in the midst of all this darkness. But now, the chosen generation, the chosen generation is here. They are showing forth praises of him that called him. So his name is being mentioned out here, but it's being mentioned, but at the same time, it's not being considered. All right. Everybody's considering considering the ways of what we were up here. Freaking verse two and the earth was without form and void because it's void right now. Everything is void. It's mad. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. All right. And that's what everybody's considering because this is all they know darkness. They don't want to know the most high. They don't want to know Hamashiach. They don't want to know the children of Israel, the true children of Israel. Once again, those in reference to first Peter chapter two and verse nine. They don't want to know that. Right. They don't want to know that. OK, let's move on. John chapter one, verse five. John chapter 1 verse 5. Scriptures get good, man. They taste good. They get good. And you be wanting to stay there, but you got to move on. You know what I mean? But once again, when you be doing this, man, time go by so quick. It'll be two hours before you know it. Two hours. Try not to be like that. John chapter 1. Yes, sir. Here we go, family. Let's see where I'm at. Uh, St. John chapter 1, verse 5. That's where I'm at. 
and the light shineth in darkness, you know, and the darkness comprehended it not. That's just what I was saying. Don't nobody want to hear it. They don't got time for it. The word of the Most High is not um, valid. The word of the Most High is um, it's void in the earth. That's why I said the Most High got a controversy with the land. You know, he got a controversy with this land and he's going to come pay this land a visit. The whole earth. He's going to come pay him a visit, you know, but we out here teaching, we speaking, we crying aloud, sparing not, you know, trying to show Jacob his sins or his transgression. Uh, Jacob don't want to hear it, but it really don't matter. Jacob going to hear it anyway. They're going to hear it anyway. But my 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 deal and my suggestion is the most high suggestion. You better you better um come home while you got a chance, so to speak, because it ain't going to be looking pretty in a few seconds. I told you two doses are about to get issued out. You can take them if you want to. You shall be transformed even worse than what you already are. You know, you're already totally converted, totally converted, totally converted. All right, let me tell you something, man. I can see my people out there dressed up like they look like they ain't got a pot to piss in. Kids too, but the stuff that's coming out their mouth is confusing to me. I hear the kids screaming out, mommy, mommy. They sound like um, Europeans. I didn't understand them. You dress like whatever, dude. I, I don't know, man. It's just so confusing now. We're just cleaving on to the wrong stuff. But <clears throat> maybe the most I just done gave them over to vile affection, man. It's, it's a sad case out here. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. <laughs> we're just cleaving on to the wrong things. We're grabbing or we're tugging on to the wrong garment. You know what I'm saying? Once again, we're begging for justice. from the wrong people and we shouldn't be begging for justice from no people we should be going to the father the most high you how about shimmy how shy that's who we're supposed to be asking for mercy from that's who we're supposed to be asking for assistance from that's who we're supposed to be asking which way to go what to do how to do it how to think how to walk how to talk yeah that's what we're supposed to be doing I mean, even if you, if you were a Christian and you believe in God, like you say you do, but you're not asking him nothing. All I see is people on TV marching, begging from somebody who consistently keep going outside their head. I don't hear nobody pleading out to the Most High, asking him for help. I just don't see it. So I'm going to read John 1, 5 again. All right. And the light shineth in darkness. Yes, it do. You know how? Because Mashiach came and he represented the Most High. His word is truth. His word is light. Life. You know, life, light. And he is the light, right? It's the same light back in Genesis 1. You know? And the light shineth in darkness. And right now, our big brother, he's not here, but we are representatives of him, that peculiar nation that's showing forth the praises of him. So we're keeping the light shining. We lighted the candle. We're not going to put a vessel on top of the light or hide the candle on the bush. No, we're not. We're going to go right on out there in darkness so somebody can see. So somebody can see. All right. And the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. They've been in darkness so long, they, un they, they don't understand. They scared of the light. It blinded them. It's, it blinded them. they rather go back in the dark. Because even in, it, even in your own house, if you're asleep, as soon as you wake up in the morning, the sunlight hurts your eyes, boy. You've been asleep. You've been in darkness for eight hours. Sleep for eight hours. And then when you wake up and that sunlight hits you, it hurt, boy. You have to adjust. But this world, the darkness, I mean, the light just blind them. They've been in darkness so long, the light blind them. 
all right so in essence it's really like a rejection you reject the light it's not a good thing that's salvation that's salvation all right job chapter 33 and verse 14 okay yeah the light hurt your eyes man it blind job chapter 33 all right verse 14 for the almighty power your hour speaketh once yea twice yet man perceived it not i just said that his voice goes out once yeah twice his voice is the messiah the master teacher yahweh shah and now we're here as a peculiar nation showing forth his praise we speak it once we speak it twice right yet man perceived it not we shine the light in darkness they can't comprehend the light is the word the truth the law statutes and commandments of the most high and the converting of your spirit your mindset on top of it all that's more than anything but that conversion from darkness to light is hard to do once again you've been dwelling in darkness so long you're blinded by the light it does job 20 job 33 and 14 again for the almighty power of how will speak at once yea twice yet man perceiveth it not can't perceive it don't understand it don't understand it. it's foreign to him all right it's been gone so long you ain't seen light what you perceive to be light been darkness the whole time so when the true light come to them it's an abomination to the wicked the truth is an abomination see so the world has been flipped upside down according to job 9 and 24 that's the reason why it's out of order that's one of the reasons according to genesis chapter 1 verse 2 all right according to saint john chapter 1 verse 5 according to job 33 and 14 you know everything is upside down the darkness can't tell can't can't perceive the light you know it's too much it's too much those who are sleeping in the grave rather stay in the grave they don't want to live you see what i'm saying they don't want to live all right so the god of this world has blinded them and he got them dead and they love death rather than life see mm-hmm but this earth and this world worship the dead they do not worship life which is the most high through his son Hamashiach Yahweh Shah via first Peter 2 and 9 which are the children the elect and the remnant of Israel you so-called Negroes you so-called Hispanics you so-called native enemies on this side of the Western Hemisphere of Negro descent from the top down to the bottom I'm gonna keep saying that even though throughout the four corners of the earth, uh, of the earth of the earth wherever y'all brothers and brothers at out there sisters out there throughout the four corners of the earth far near wherever so the most high don't scatter y'all y'all supposed to be showing forth his praise also okay if you're in africa north south east or west uk freaking russia germany australia china japan iran iraq because we got brothers and sisters scattered amongst all nations same applies to you too all right Quam all right let's go to saint john chapter 3 and verse 19. saint john chapter 3 verse 19. Okay. Mm -hmm. what was saint john chapter 3 verse 19 and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world ah okay and men love darkness rather than light why because they were used to it 
They were used to it. They're comfortable with that. You've been doing something for 40 years. It's hard to make a person change. I don't care if it's right or wrong. If a man been walking righteously for 40 years, more than likely he's going to continue. He's not, he's not going to want to change. But if a man been walking in darkness for 40 years, more than likely he's going to want to stay in there. You know, these things are foreign to him. Anything that's trying to persuade him or alter him from what he's been doing all of his life is to no avail with him. He's not going to do it. Watch this again, family. John chapter 3, verse 19. And this is the condemnation that the Messiah, Yahweh Shah, is coming to the world and men love Satan rather than Hamashiach Yahweh Shah because their deeds were of Satan. See? So when y'all read that, y'all gonna read something else, but I'm just implementing or telling you the way it need to be seen. I'm gonna put light, more light on the scripture. Okay? I'm gonna put more light on that scripture. Right? So when you hear me say that and you go back and you go through this video and you see that, you you better see it. If not, I don't know what to tell you. Right? Right? See, watch this. I'm gonna go on. I didn't have this, but I'm gonna read on down. I'm gonna read the verse 20. For everyone that doeth evil hateth Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Neither cometh to Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Lest his deeds, his deeds should be reproved. You know, lest his wickedness should be reproved right for everyone that doeth evil hateth Hamashiach Yahweh Shah right neither cometh to Hamashiach Yahweh Shah lest his wickedness should be corrected or changed he's not going to do it 40 years more than likely I said more than likely He's not going to change. Some will. Only one or two. All right. So y'all read that. Y'all see that. Okay. All right. Okay. So let me. I'm going to read verse 21. Got to. All right. But he that doeth. Truth. He that doeth true cometh to Hamashiach Yahweh Shah, that his deeds may be made manifest. So he who doeth true, he who want to convert and change and recognize that light is the way and not darkness, and they had an ear, they hearkened to the voice of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. You know, they want to receive all the blessings that were promised. To the children of Israel, because my job is to speak unto the children of Israel. That's my job. My job is to speak unto the children of Israel. All right. So they've been in darkness for so long because they've been under subjection of the nations, whether so ever the most high scattered them. So when the brothers come amongst them and lift up the veil and tell them, hey, I found this gold. It belongs to you. They reject it because they perceive that what they've been had for the longest was gold. They ain't never saw this before. So it's to no benefit to them. You see? It's to no benefit. So verse 21 says, But he that doeth truth cometh to Hamashiach Yahweh Shah, that his deeds may be made manifest. Hmm. That they that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in the almighty power. See, your deeds got to be made manifest, got to be made known. It's got to be. Therefore, then you will be a light to the world, right? 
It's like from one candle to the next. If I got a candle lit and you just got a candle with no light, you never had a lighter. You had a candle, but you never had a light. I come along and I light your candle. Now, hey man, you can see now. You've been in, you've been sitting in darkness with a candle with no matches. You know, some people was waiting on somebody to come along with the light. But some people just cast their candles away because they've been in darkness so long. They said it ain't no good to me. They didn't have no patience. They didn't have no patience. All right. Right. And the scriptures say in the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, I think it is, since I said that, they didn't have no patience. Right. Yeah, it, it, it says in the book of Ecclesiasticus, which is uh, Salakia family, is the Apocrypha. It says in Ecclesiasticus chapter 2, verse um, 14 says, War unto you, they have lost patience. And what will you do when the Most High shall visit you? You know what I'm saying? What you going to do? I guess they just said, We'll worry about it when the time comes. You know what I'm saying? That's a dangerous thing to do. To talk to your creator that way, to even think that. Not knowing that he knows what's going on up in him. You know, the wicked thought of a man is an abomination to the most high. Just that wicked thought alone. Don't think the most high don't know. Y'all believe in Santa Claus. You know, you better believe in the most high. You know, people crazy out here, man. But that's okay. That's okay. Let's move on, family. All right. First John chapter one, verse five. First John chapter one, verse five. OK. First John. Chapter one. And verse five. Right. This then is the message which we have heard of him from my shout Yahweh shout and declare unto you. Right? That the Almighty Power, Yahweh, is light. And in Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, is no darkness at all. Period. 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 His brothers, his brother was full of darkness. You know, Mr. Hashatan. You know, Jacob's supposed to be the light of the world. Esau brought forth darkness. Esau didn't want to keep Torah. Jacob kept Torah. Okay. Cain didn't want no parts of the Torah. But Abel brought forth an offering that was acceptable unto the Most High. Not the philosophy of the world, which Eve received in the garden also. From a wicked scientist. That same scientist right now about to get rid of that serpent that was there in the garden. It's about to get ready to hit you with two doses. He got to do it. He the king of darkness, but that's his job. See. But it's on the individual to discern what darkness and light is and don't be caught in the trap or a snare and be blinded all right all right don't be deceived family don't be deceived same serpent then same serpent right now and he's about to make it happen you get you two doses and he's going to transform you <laughs> into utter darkness Utter darkness. It's gonna be worse than what you've been in. Already been in darkness. Now he about to just have you groping in at in, in noon in, in, in the daytime. You be groping around in daytime. Sad man. Sad man. Sad man. Let's move on. Let me read that again. First John chapter one verse five. All right. This then is the message. Which we have heard of from our shot, Yahweh shot, and declare unto you that the Almighty Power Yahweh is light, and in Him, Yahweh shot, is no darkness at all. 
It ain't no darkness at all. Okay? No darkness at all. I'm going to jump over to chapter 2, verse 11. All right? Chapter 2, verse 11. Same book. But he that hated his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness. See? All right, Israelites. Hebrew Israelites. Clean up your heart, man. You know, clean up your heart. Open up the window of your mind and let all that madness out. We got to vent again. We got to vent again. We got to vent again. All right. It starts at the house of Jacob first. Judgment starts at the house of Jacob first. First John chapter two, verse 11. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness. And knoweth not whether he goeth. See? Why? <laughs> because that darkness have blinded his eyes. So if you've been holding grudges for years and years and years and years, that's what I was saying about being in darkness for so long, for 20 and 30 years. It's hard to get rid of it, man. It's embedded in you. Right? Then if you got anybody under you following you, and you are father a father figure of people that are following you, then what did, what 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 are they gonna be? What are they gonna be? They looking up to you, they looking up to darkness. Or oh, man that's coveting or uh, uh, housing darkness, hoarding darkness. We gotta work we got work to do, man. We got work to do, man. All right. Let's move on. Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 13. We're in the Bible this time with it, family. Well, the whole thing is the Bible, but we're in the, big, we're, we're in the regular scriptures that y'all are used to. All of it's normal and regular to me because this book is included in the Bible. You know, 1611 King James Version. Go get it once again. I'm going to keep saying that. I'm going to keep saying that. All right. The book of Ecclesiastes, all right, chapter, uh, what did I say, 2, verse 13 through 14, okay, okay, Ecclesiastes, chapter 2, mm, verse 13 through 14, all right. Then I saw that wisdom exceedeth folly. All right. All right. As far as light. What is that? As far as light ex excelleth darkness. You get it? You see the um the reference? You see the reference there once again? Then I saw that wisdom excelleth folly. Mm -hmm. As far as light excelleth darkness. Verse 14, the wise man's eyes are in his head, right? But the fool walketh in darkness, okay? And I myself perceived also that one event happened to them all. Really? Mm. And I myself perceive that one event is going to happen to them all. Those two doses, once again, that the serpent is about to issue out through a syringe, that venom, that same venom that he put in Eve, but this time he finna put it in y'all. All right? That same venom laced with honey. It's going to taste good to you, but it ain't going to be good for you. It's going to taste good to you, but it ain't going to be good for you. All right. Hey, man, this is real talk, man. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it till I can't do it no more. Real talk, family. In whatever manner you can understand it, I'll bring it. Okay. All right. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 6, man. 
I'm your brother, man. I'm your servant. I'm not your teacher. All right, we got a teacher. He a master teacher. All right. His name is Amashiach Yahweh I'm just your humble servant. I'm just your brother, man. All right. I'm just doing my part and measure. All right. I am your brother, man. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 6. Forsake the foolish and live. Hey, Amen. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't get in line. Don't go sit in no chair and roll up your sleeve and be laughing and kicking and showing your teeth if it's, as if it's something to play with. This ain't nothing to play with, man. This is nothing to play with. Take heed. I pray the most high send this vibe out throughout the four corners of the earth. He can do that. He can take it from here and it, can, it don't even have to go through YouTube. You got angels working. That's why I read Ecclesiastes, uh, Ezekiel 37 chapter. All right, verse nine. That's what I do. I need assistance. All of us who are out here trying to do the work need assistance. All right. Proverbs chapter nine and six. Forsake the foolish and live, y'all, and go in the way of understanding, which is in the way of, of, of the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. All right. Do that. And help straighten up the nation. You can do it before it gets too late. You know, if you pray and you seek the most high <clears throat> and ask him with a sincere heart, that you'll receive. I know this. This I know. All right. This I know. You know. I'm gonna go to Job chapter 33 and 4. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Okay. Job chapter 33 and verse 4. The spirit of the almighty power, Yahweh, had made me. Yes, he did. And the breath of the almighty has given me life. So let's read it again. The spirit of Mashiach Yahweh Shai through the almighty power Yahweh has made me. And Yahweh Shai through the almighty have given me life. You see? And I acknowledge that and I appreciate that. That's how I can get involved with uh, First Peter's second chapter in the ninth verse. And I can go forth and show the praises. Show this right here. This is the praises right here. This is the beginning right here. Job 33 and 4. This is the beginning of showing his praises right here. All right. That's it, family. Scripture speaks for itself. All right. Let's jump to Matthew chapter 4, verse 16. Okay. Go to Matthew chapter 4. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's go to Matthew. Salaki, fam. I got a mark as I go. I don't know how I do it. All right. All right. The book of Matthew, chapter 4, and verse 16. The people which sat in darkness saw great light. All right. And to them which sat in the region of the shadow of death, light has sprung up. Praise the Most High for this. All right. Now, I'm going to read this again. I'm going to read it in the Hebrew. Hmm. The people which worship Satan saw how much Yah, Yahweh Shah. All right. And to them which sat in the region and the shadow of death, 
Yahweh shall was sprung up. Okay, so he came. And he came to his own. But guess what? His own and receiving. Who is his own? The Israelites, the Negroes, the so-called Hispanics, the so-called native, and all the other brothers and sisters that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. They received them not. Because they was in darkness. They sat in darkness. Way too long. Way too long. So they didn't want to they didn't want to convert. But let's see what's going on in the scripture again. The people which sat in darkness saw Hamashiach. And to them which sat in the, the region of the shadow of death, light is sprung up. Yeah, it did. It sprung up and it hurt their eyes. It blinded them. And they couldn't. It was too much for them. Just like today. When I go out, when, when the brothers go out and teach, and we bring forth the light, it is too much. So they reject it. They're rejecting it. And they just rather crawl back in their hole. And it's dark down in the hole. Okay? Once again, when you sleep in your hole, you can't sleep when that light beaming down and you're trying to go to bed. You cannot sleep. You turn the light off. Because you got to be in darkness when you sleep. Right. <laughs> Most of the time you got to be in darkness. Unless you're in the daytime and you're drunk. And you're still in darkness. It is what it is. I'm going to move on. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and 3. Most high. Beautiful scriptures. Beautiful scriptures. Okay. 2 Corinthians. Chapter 11 verse 3. Okay. But I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility, sub, sub, subtlety. So your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in the Mashiach Yahweh And that's what I was talking about from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Serpent hit her with two doses. She lost her mind. She went off. She fell in the sin. She fell in the darkness. She sure did. She sure did. Verse 3, 2 Corinthians chapter 11. But I fear myself, I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve, persuaded her, through his subtlety, just like y'all, y'all been persuaded that you, you got to have these doses so you can be well. Oh my goodness. I don't even I don't even know if y'all sick. You sick, you sick in the head. So instead of your arm, they probably need to just put it up here and go directly to where the problem at. The problem ain't in your arm, the problem is up here. So it might be better for them to just put it up there. Just go straight to the issue. Because there's a major problem going on up there. Believe me. But here is the scripture, man. I pray the divide go out. I pray the most high send it out the way he wanted to go though. Nothing I can do. Verse 3, chapter 11, 2 Corinthians. But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted. See, from the simplicity that is in Hamashiach, Yahweh, very simple. What's simple? What's the simplicity? The simplicity is come out of her, my people. Come out from among them. All right, awake, awake, and put on our beautiful garments. You know, simplicity is First Peter. Chapter 2, verse 9, that you are a peculiar nation. All right. And the most I have chosen thee above all nations upon the face of the earth to go forth and show the praises of him that brought you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Simple. That's the simplicity. All right. That's the simplicity. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. 
simple. But it's simply said, not simply done. Because once again, when that light hit that darkness, boy, <laughs> it, ain't it hard? How is it that you can blind some something, somebody whose eyes been shut already? How can you blind them? They already can't see. That's a good one, ain't it? How can you blind somebody that can't see? But they they walking in they walking walking zombies. That's how man. Big y'all figure that one out. How can you blind somebody that can't see? How can the light <clears throat> blind somebody that can't see? How is that? All right. Second Corinthians chapter ten and verse five. <clears throat> it's a lot. Chapter 10 and verse 5. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the almighty power of your how. That's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be casting down imaginations and every high thing, every high spirit. I don't care if they work for him. For, for Lucifer, Satan, whoever, we're supposed to be casting all that down. Every high thing that exalts itself. All right? Every knucklehead man out there that exalts itself. You know? That exalts itself against the knowledge of the almighty power. Right? Because the foolishness of this world I mean, because the knowledge and the wisdom of this world is foolishness. See? The things that our people are doing out here, it's not of the most high. I was out there, so I know that I can say that. I can say that. I was out there. So casting down the imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the almighty power, the power, and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shah. All right. All right. Bring it into captivity every thought to obedience of Yahweh Shah. Because to him is was given, you know, power over everything. Everything. So every knee shall bow. You know, he's king of king, lords of lord, you know. And he a brother. He a brother. Like it or not, he's a brother. He ain't the one that you thought you knew. So my advice, go tell somebody. Do some research. He ain't who you think he is. All right? The other one is an antichrist. He's a false prophet. He all that. Matter of fact, he ain't even real. He real, he lived, but his name wasn't Christ. His name wasn't Christ. So somebody been duped, man. But those who been duped are those that, that are blind. Those who live in darkness. And the light blinded them when the light showed up. Those the one who been duped. What do I mean by that? You been believing and so-called white Jesus all your life, generation after generation after generation. So when the real one show up, you won't even receive him. Because you've been believing what you wanted, what you were trained to believe. And you don't want to change your thought process. You're comfortable in believing a lie. You see? You're comfortable in believing a lie. See what I'm saying? So, let's move on. All right, Jeremiah chapter four, verse three. Okay. Just saying, family, trying to help, man. Jeremiah chapter four and verse three. Okay. Jeremiah chapter four and verse three. For thus said the Most High Yahweh, to the men of Yahuda or Judah and Jerusalem. All right. Break up your fallow ground, right? 
break up your fallow ground and sow not among thorns. So don't sow among the nations. Don't 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 go and try to mix your way of the most high and, and, and then try to walk and try to and try to uh, partake in their gods also. Don't do that. Don't sow amongst amongst thorns. All right. Don't sow amongst thorns. Once again, for thus said the most high Yahweh to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, northern and southern. Break up your fallow ground and sow not among thorns. Don't do that. We done done it. We done done it. But the door is still open for us to come out of her, my people. We've already done it. Okay. But at the same time, that remnant is returning, you know, and they're going to do First John chapter 2, verse 9. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. They don't want to see the punishment of the Most High no more. We've had enough. Enough is enough, man. Enough is enough. Now we're coming back to the Most High so he can defend us. Because we cry and we sigh, you know, for all the abominations that be done in the midst of us. All right? We go to Matthew chapter 13, verse 22. Okay? Matthew. 13 verse 22 okay the book of matthew chapter 13 and verse 22 he also that received a seed among the thorns that the most high that said don't sow your thorns don't sow amongst the thorns remember we just read in jeremiah he also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word right and the care of this world or the care of these nations and the deceitfulness of riches mm -hmm, trickery receiving money from the left hand side receiving money from the puppet master you know what i'm saying he that receiveth seed among the thorns your Hollywood um, so-called Negroes in entertainment world. I don't care what 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 realm it is. Basketball, rap, movies, book writing, swimming, track and field. You just name it. Anything that you done shook your hand and sold yourself to on a piece of paper to these people to exploit yourself for something that's fake. Something that is priced that don't even have a, a value to it. All you get is fame and everything else. You gotta you gotta lap dance for it, cause that's what you do literally. You lap dance for it. That's all you get out of it. All right. You got to lap dance for it. You don't get a lap dance. You give lap dances. That's what happens. He also that received seed among the thorns, amongst the wicked, is he that heareth the word and the care of this world or the care of this wickedness out here and the deceitfulness of riches. See, it's deceitfulness of riches. I tried to break it down to you, man. Right? Choke the word. Choke the word. And he becometh unfruitful. He ain't no good to the Most High. Because you sold yourself. You ain't no good to the Most High. You sold yourself for nothing, man. For the deceitfulness of riches. You sold yourself. Then you got to face the penalty. Because you lost patience. Like the scripture said over there. Woe to those who have lost patience. And what you what are you gonna do when the most high come visit you? You ain't got no talents, you ain't got nothing, man. You don't got nothing. You threw away his talents and you went after deceitful rich deceitfulness or uh, deceitful riches. You threw away the most you cast his behind your back. You went and buried it somewhere. And you went after the talents of the wicked one. 
the one of darkness. Okay? That's what you did. So what you going to do, if you woe to those who lose patience, and what will you do when the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shall come visit you? That's in the scriptures. All right? Go to St. John chapter 8, verse 12. It's in the scriptures, man. So, the book of John, chapter 8, verse 12. Then spake for my shot, Yahweh shot, again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. Right. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. <laughs> All praise and honor and glory to Mashiach, Yahweh Shah. You know. Thank you, Most High, for sending your son, sending your sending my big brother. Let's read it again, family. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 12. Then spake of Mashiach, Yahweh Shah again unto them, saying, I am a Mashiach, Yahweh Shah of the world. I'm the real one. Right? He that followeth me shall not follow of Satan, but shall have the light of life. You know, I came to show you, bring you back to the fold, to reteach you again. That's what he said. And bring you back to the Father. Right? To bring you back to the Father. In wisdom, knowledge, understanding, in the Torah, in the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, so that's what's happening, family. Don't get two doses. All right. Don't get two doses. Don't sow amongst the thorns, lest you sell yourself. All right, for deceit, for riches, and you got to pay the price. You lose your patience. You stand a chance of a of a of a earth sized shoe stamping you to smithereens. All right. Because the world is the footstool to the most high. You have by shim and So that's what's up with that. All right. Call me Yashala. Give all honor, glory, and praise to the most high. You know. Yeah, I'll buy Shimmy Al Shah. Say Shalom.